What's good out there everyone, it's Roll Easy here and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be going over the brand new gift cards to friends glitch. This just came out last night, but I wanted to make sure I figured every little you know aspect of it out before putting it out there. And I have the original method where we're using uh, you know a cargo bob and stuff and the new method where you don't need any of that. Okay, so big shout out to the founders. We got Lost Glitches and GTA Boss. Uh, links are down in the description. Uh, big thing though, this glitch right now is only for PS4 unfortunately, okay? There is no Xbox method. There's actually two methods for PS4 right now. So just keep that in mind. This is only PS4 for the time being. What you need is a throw yourself in an invite only session. You want one friend and have your friend waiting for you at the docks with the car that they're going to be giving you. Okay, just have them waiting at the docks. Now you need a bunker. You need the MOC with the personal vehicle storage. I recommend putting a Fagio in there and you're going to see why at the end. But uh, just put a Fagio in your MOC and your friend also needs an MOC to send you an invite later. Okay, now the original method had to do with having your friend with a cargo bob and you with a deluxo. I'll show you that method, but I'm going to show you the new method where all you're using is this Fagio right here that's in your MOC. Okay, but I'll show you both methods. So you don't need the cargo bob and the deluxo, but I'm going to show you uh, both methods that did get released. Okay, so right now we're going to go ahead and get ready. And uh, as you can see, I got 60 frames per second now. Got the new PC. Hell yeah. So... Uh, what I'm doing is I'm getting a recent activity ready. So find a recent activity that says start GTA online. Okay. And you want to have that ready to go and just hover over start GTA online and double tap the PS button. So you see right here. So start GTA online. I just got to double tap the PS button and then I'll come back over to the game. So you want to have this ready to go because you're going to be doing this fairly quickly. Now, this is a really easy glitch, but this part for some reason will give you a little bit of trouble. It's not 100%, you know, but it does work. So what you want to do is you want to run into that blue circle and right as the screen is fading, you want to bring up a recent activity. Okay, so you're going to see me do it right here. So I'm going to go into the blue circle and then right away, I'm going to right when the screen's fading, double tap the PS button. So you see screen fades, double tap the PS button, start detail online. And, um, and yeah, so once you're at this point, you actually want to wait on this screen for about 45 seconds, okay? 40 to 45 seconds is how long you want to wait on this screen, all right? Reason being is uh, it glitches you out to keep you outside of the MOC, okay? So you want to, basically, you want to stay outside of the MOC, and uh, you're going to bring up a recent again very, very quickly, okay? So if you spawn in the MOC, you got to do it again. If you spawn outside, you're good. So here we go. I'm going to go ahead and decline this alert, bring up another recent, and decline the alert again. All right, as you can see, I spawned in the MOC. It didn't work. All right, you got to go back outside and try again. So that will happen to you a bunch. All right, I couldn't figure out the exact way to do this. I just kept trying, and I got it. But look, blue circle, double tap the PS button, start detail online. And now I'm waiting on this alert for, once again, another 40 to 45 seconds. Okay, so... What I think really is just, you can tap the X button if you really want to. It doesn't matter because you're in the bunker. So just hold the X button uh, so that you're doing that light jog towards that blue circle. Once you're fully in that blue circle and you start seeing the screen fade, you want to be double tapping like slightly before that. So it's like let go of X uh, with your right thumb as you're going into the blue circle and like you're already starting to double tap the PS button. That's how I would do it and bring up that recent and like I said, sit on it for 40 to 45 seconds okay and then once that time is up you decline the alert and you immediately double tap again to bring up another recent and decline that one okay so that's the process we're doing right here right so you're gonna see that happen right now i'm gonna decline it and then bring up another one all right really quickly decline bring up another recent decline boom now we're outside the moc that's what you want to see so pause online criminal enterprise starter pack back out now we can see ourselves open up the interaction menu take the easy way out okay so that part will be a little bit tricky i promise you you're probably not going to get a first try you could get a first try but it took me like five tries to get that okay but that's probably just the toughest part of this glitch is just hitting that little part but uh, yeah, you should spawn up the docks now. Once you've done that, you wanna go ahead and request your MOC. Now, request your MOC and just make sure you're not looking at that MOC spawn point, kinda like I am right here. You see how I'm like looking down while I'm running over here? Yeah, you actually want your MOC to spawn over here at the docks, okay? So at this point, like I said, have your friend waiting over here. Uh, my friend was getting a cargo bob because that was the original method that I was doing here. But uh, yeah, so what I'm going to go ahead and do is actually call it my mechanic. And this is the original method, okay? So I'm getting a deluxo 
uh, from another garage and my friend is getting a cargo bob okay so like i said this is the original method just watch right now if you're at this point at the docks just watch don't play just watch and see what i'm doing so that you can see both methods all right so this is the original method just get a deluxo from any other garage and my friend right there you see he's actually in the cargo bob waiting for me and uh yeah i'm gonna go ahead and go to the back of my moc remember i still have that fagio inside my moc so I'm going to go ahead and go to the back of the MOC right here and get to the blue circle to where I get the right D-pad option. And I was just backing up so I can give my friend, you know, kind of room to pick me up there. But basically you want to hit right D-pad, accept that alert, and then hold the gas the entire time so that you don't actually go into the MOC and your friend would pick you up with the cargo bob and actually drop you in the water. Okay, so that is the thing. You want to destroy the car while you're still in it on the way to the MOC. Okay, so that's my friend right there in the bob and he's waiting to come pick me up. So I'm going to go ahead and press right D-pad. I have the full alert. I'm going to accept it and then hold the gas. So I'm holding R2 the entire time. And basically what he's doing right now while I'm holding R2 is he's picking me up with the cargo bob and he's just flying me right over to the water. And we're at the docks, so the water's really close. And he's just dropping me in the water, okay? Just dropping me in the water. And you're still holding RT the entire time, or R2 the entire time. So that was the first way to do it, all right? The original method. This is now the new way to do it, which I recommend. It's much, much easier, all right? I got the original footage and I just put this out today so I wanted you guys to see you know the entirety of the glitch and the history of it you know the short history that it has so far so uh, yeah at this point right now uh, this is where you don't need a deluxo or a cargo bob okay so that's what we've taken out by this so your friend is still at the docks with you but your friend does not need a deluxo or a cargo bob at all okay neither do you so you all you're using is the fagio right here in the moc so you want to park the moc in this spot and you're going to see why i parked it in this spot here in a second but uh yeah so you're going to park it in this spot and then i'm going to go inside the moc grab my fagio and pull it out now i'm going to head back over to that area since it spawned me way the hell out here and uh yeah what you want to do is position yourself right at this little spot and this is why i said use a fagio because look you can position your bike right over here at this spot to where your friend can actually push you right off of the you know of the fagio so go ahead and position yourself like you see me doing right here to where your friend just has to go in front of you and just you know just slowly push you right off the edge okay so this is where this is the method you want to do you know screw the cargo bob and the deluxe i was just showing you the original method but this is what you want to do so press right d-pad and hold the gas so that's what just happened right d-pad hold the gas and right now i'm just holding the gas while i'm on this loading screen and my friend is just pushing me and just pushing me right off the edge into the water okay and you want your friend to tell you when you're actually fully submerged and your vehicle should be destroyed seconds later but you want to make sure before you do anything next your vehicle's destroyed once you're sure bring up the recent start to line and decline the alert you should be just floating in the water just like this all right if you waited long enough so Right now I have the loading circle in the bottom right. We're gonna wait for that to go away as I fast forward here and then you'll be able to bring up the Criminal Enterprise starter pack and then take the easy way out once again. Okay, so that's what we're doing. I'm just waiting right now, loading went away. I can go ahead and open up the Criminal Enterprise starter pack. So there we go, back out of it, open up the interaction menu and take the easy way out once again. Seems like we're doing that a lot with these GC2Fs lately. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so at this point, uh, right now you do spawn, you know, kind of right here in this area and uh, yeah, once we're over here What you want to go ahead and do is actually run over towards your car Okay, or the car that your friends give me remember I, ha I had your friend, you know, stay here with the car. So uh, If you did the deluxo method, you could request a fagio right now to make sure you don't lose your deluxo uh, but you really don't need to if you did the Fagio method your vehicle should be destroyed if you want to call it back from Moore's Mutual real quick You can go ahead, but uh, yeah, if you want to put your Fagio back on the map for a second You can definitely do that. I, that's what I did and it seemed to work fine So um, yeah right now. This is the car that my friend is giving me I'm gonna go ahead and post up right here at the passenger side My friend is going into their MOC that they just called out anywhere on the map sent me an MOC invite I'm gonna go ahead and open up my phone and accept it now that I've accepted the MOC invite, I'm going to go ahead and bring up another recent, start to see online, decline the alert. Now we're at this point. Okay, so at this point, this is uncut right here. I'm not forwarding or slowing down or anything like that. So 
we're waiting for the map to come back. I know you guys have done this plenty of times, but I always said to start the timer at a different point. You need to start your timer right when the map comes back, okay? So right when the radar on the bottom left goes back to normal, that's when you start your timer. And the magic number is 23, okay? I tried this a few times and it was always 23 seconds. All right, so we're waiting right now. So have your phone or a watch or something with a timer on it ready to go. Okay, so here we go. You're gonna see me do this right now. So the radar will come back here in a second and I will begin my timer right at that point. Okay, boom. All right, so timer has started. Open up your pause menu, go to online, criminal enterprise starter pack, back out of it. Now we're just sitting here waiting. And at 23 seconds, exactly 23 seconds, well, 22, 23, that's when I start getting in the car. Okay, so, but I'm telling you 23 seconds is the time. So you're gonna see me start getting in the car here real soon and you wanna get the black screen as you're entering the vehicle. So here we go, and boom, you saw that? As I was entering the vehicle, black screen happened, and I almost missed it. I'm telling you, I almost missed it, but it did spawn in my MOC just like that. Okay, so that's the magic number, 23 seconds. Start that timer right when the, uh, right when the time is appropriate when that radar comes back to normal, okay? So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope you guys learned something. I tried to, you know, have every tip possible for this. Uh, that's going to be it for me. My name is Roll Easy. Please subscribe to the channel if you're brand new by hitting that big red button. Turn on post notifications and drop a fat like on this video and the rest of my videos for the freshest and the most informative dope GTA 5 online content. We are on the road to 50,000 subscribers. Peace.